Hi, Katie here with your Galco TV industry update. This week, we're talking about driverless buses, robotic feet, and GE's new digital product platforms. Beginning fall 2017, University of Michigan students will have access to an entirely new form of transportation on campus, completely autonomous shuttle buses. The university plans to initially deploy two of these shuttles to service a two-mile route between the Engineering Center and the North Campus Research Complex on Plymouth Road. Each shuttle can carry a max of 15 passengers and lacks any steering wheels or pedals. These shuttles are being launched in partnership with M-City, the university's 32-acre testing facility often used by automakers and tech startups alike for self-driving vehicle testing. The shuttles are manufactured by French startup Navia, who has previously deployed autonomous vehicles in London and Las Vegas. For now, experts believe that most self-driving vehicles will be confined to a specific geofence setting for more accurate mapping and driving before the technology improves enough for the vehicles to be used in the wild. Whenever that happens, Michigan will be leading the pack thanks to Governor Schneider's recently signed law that allows fully driverless cars on the road as soon as they are ready. Humotech Carnegie Mellon's robotic spin-off has been working to develop robotic feet that makes it easier to test out different prosthetics. The current implementation uses a single rod extending from an actuated base somewhat resembling the arch of a human foot. The whole unit is tethered by a series of wires that extend off the back which then connect to an actuation unit that spins back and forth as the wearer walks with it. Feedback is sent to the lab's test system during each test and the system is also capable of emulating a wide range of prosthetics, allowing it to mimic different properties such as flexibility and strength. The emulation gives patients an opportunity to see how different systems fit without having immediate access to the actual prosthetics. It could well prove an important tool given the fact that once a prosthetic is chosen for a patient, they'll have to live with the device every day for a long time. Even non-robotic prosthetics can be extremely pricey and oftentimes difficult to return. The system also helps lend an objectivity to the decision-making process by presenting different prosthetics in a blind testing scenario. GE unveiled new solutions purpose built for industrial assets, environments, and operations at their Minds Plus Machines Europe event, including new advanced applications, edge to cloud analytics, and robotics to advance digital industrial transformation for customers. GE's digital division announced the integration of ServiceMax, a field service management solution and asset performance management portfolio to transform service operations, reduce costs, and eliminate unplanned downtime. Their APM and FSM solutions will automatically collect and analyze service data ranging from predictive maintenance needs to failure information and recommended work actions to help industrial companies move beyond traditional asset monitoring into advanced predictive maintenance and asset performance management. Next, GE Ventures launched Avitas Systems, a new venture that will transform inspection services with advanced robotics, data analytics, and artificial intelligence to deliver advanced inspection services to the oil and gas, transportation, and energy industries. By reducing high-risk tasks through robotics, Avitas Systems can make inspection processes safer and more efficient through data automation, decreasing costs by up to 25%. By performing inspections based on anticipated risk instead of regular time intervals, Avitas Systems can also help to increase asset longevity.
And finally, GE Power released a Predix Power Digital Utility to connect real-time machine and operations data with energy trading to drive more profitable businesses. This new business optimization software is the first of its kind, bringing analytics to the business side of power and utility companies to help energy traders act profitability in long-term, day-ahead, and short-term wholesale markets. Together, these solutions and deployments advance GE's vision for the industrial internet with a portfolio designed to accelerate customers' transformation journeys and create new paths to growth for customers of every size and scale. That is it for this week's industry update. Make sure you stay tuned next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.